Mwanda. Bema General Grada Mpungu. Ejuru Bani. Mwami Masamba. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to this most auspicious occasion as we celebrate the launch and the opening of Nakumat. It's been quite an enjoyable journey. I remember when we only used to have, let's say, 15 branches. Of course, today, 100 looks are very uh, easy. In the next two years, achieving 100 branches should not be uh, quite a challenge. Uh, I would want to recognize the presence of Ambassador Dr. Richard Sezibera, who is our guest of honor this morning. Uh, Ambassador Sezibera is the Secretary General of the East African Community. As you all would be aware, Nakumat Holdings is very much committed to embracing the deals of ideals of regional integration. Indeed, we want to be one region. Uh, by us wanting to be one region, we have made sure that we are leading the way in ensuring that Nakumat Ganyika Farmers Association. And of course, we are hosted here by Mr. Atul Shah, who is the Managing Director of Nakumat Holdings. We definitely have the apologies of Mr. God bless Jonathan Lema, who is the Arusha Urban MP. Uh, recognize the presence of Mr. TRM, who is our Regional Operations and Strategy uh, Director. Without further ado, I want now to invite Mr. Kimweli to make uh, to, to lead us in a word of prayer and also give us some prayers before we move to the next program. Thank you. here and there, but anyway, welcome everybody. Ambassador Dr. Richard Sezebera, Secretary General of the East African Community. His worship, although he's going to be a little late, but let me mention his name, uh, Jonathan. His worship, Honorable Gordon Sulimo, Mayor of Arusha. Miss Anna Mufang Nanga, Board Member Tanganyika Farmers Association. Esteemed Nakumet shoppers, I can see there are many here today waiting for us to open, cut the ribbon. All my colleagues, suppliers, partners, today is a great day for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us this morning as we celebrate twin milestones. First, we celebrate the official opening of Nakumet Arusha. And secondly, we celebrate a golden milestone for the Nakumet Group with the opening of our 50th branch in Arusha. <laughs> Nakumet Arusha. Having opened our first branch 22 years ago in Nairobi, I am excited yet humbled by this achievement. By all means, I recognized that the opening of 50 branches by a homegrown retail in East Africa is no mean achievement. Upon deep reflection, I also recognize and wish to attribute this growth to our stakeholders who include my esteemed colleagues, suppliers, partners, and of course, our dear smart shoppers. At the same time, let me extend our sincere let me extend our sincere gratitude to all the East African governments, government agencies, and the development pastors, partners such as the East African Community Secretariat for their support. The presence of the dignitaries here led by Dr. Sizapera is a clear testimony of the importance and level of support that we continue to enjoy from such key public sector organizations. Indeed, regional integration efforts will continue to enjoy the support of Nakumet Holdings. We are committed to further foster retail trade ties in the region while, go while forging mutually beneficial working relations with the East African community. Ladies and gentlemen, 
As I have mentioned severally before, my dream is to ensure that we double the formal retail penetration in East Africa from the current less than 14% in the next 10 years. Such growth for formal retail sector will require concentrated effort amongst all stakeholders and will in turn inspire regional growth. My dream is to see thousands of farmers and other cottage industries accessing formal retail markets such as Nakamat. For this, we have committed to play a mentorship role to raise the capacity of organized groups to deliver suitable packaged and marketable ready retail products. <laughs> Besides the business now, is the dream I have. The dream I am dreaming about is something to do with East Africa. I also have an even more ambitious dream to see the East African countries host the 2030 Football World Cup Whoa! in East Africa. This can be, of course, done in the towns that I think, Arusha, Kigale, Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, and Kampala. Government and foster social cohesion. In my view, nothing does this better than a common dream to host a global soccer bonanza. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, let me take this opportunity to extend our appreciation to the following. To all our Tanzanian suppliers for their continued support, the success of this branch will remain heavily reliant on you as Nakumet hardly manufactured blue label partners in time to come. All Nakumet staff, you have worked extremely hard in the last few weeks, literally burning the midnight oil to make Nakumet Arusha a shining star this morning. I am very proud of you for having adopted the Nakumet culture seamlessly. Our culture revolves around meeting and exceeding our customer needs by providing an exceptional experience. I know you all are up to this task. Off the side, even before we started, we took over the staffs of ShopRite, which was the existing branch that Nakumet took over. From then on, we have already employed over 50 people, 50 local Tanzanians. <laughs> so we are here. We are here to grow. We are here to create employment. We are here to make shopping a worthwhile experience for all of us. All of to experience uh, the Nakumat uh, uh, hospitality, Mr. Obama. Everyone, all protocols observed. <coughs> As he rightly said, the more important the guests today are our shoppers. We don't want them to wait. That is the main reason we have appointed and started with early. Let me say a word of thanks with my natural feel what I have for this business and also for the people in and around this business. If you wish to achieve something in any aspect of your life, if you wish to achieve something in any aspect of your life, the fundamentals have to be right. In order to set the fundamentals, one needs to be clear of his vision. The vision one chooses should not be a dream, but a passion. In order to make it happen, one needs to build a team around. That team is a dream team. It must have clarity on three things. 
One is connectivity. Second one is identity. And third one is arrivalty. Connectivity through communication. Identity through making sense. And loyalty through value proposition offered. These are the foundation stones. We believe in people. We believe in relationship. We believe in doing what we say. We believe in adding values to lives. We have come a long way in the last two decades and today is the day to remember, recognize and express our gratitude to everyone who has been physically, morally and financially supported to this business to sustain and grow to this level.